Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to create a Venn diagram that lists the elements and then after we have created a Venn diagram that lists all the elements, we're going to create a Venn diagram with the cardina cardinality of each of the eight regions. So what I have here is the universal set is the numbers from 1 through 15. Set A contains the numbers 1, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Set B contains the numbers 1, 2, 5, 9, 11, and 15. And set C contains the numbers 1, 2, 6, 11, and 14. So this blue uh, Venn diagram is going to list all the elements. And then we are going to do the cardinality on this one. So typically what I do is I just start with the universal set since it's the numbers 1 through 15. I start with the very first number 1 and I see in which sets does this go into. So we can see that 1 is in all three of the sets, A, B, and C. So I would find the overlap of all three sets and I would write the number 1 right there. Okay. Then we would move to number 2. So 2 we can see is in both B and C but it's not in A, so I would go to find the overlap of just B and C, but not A, so I would put a 2 in this region. Okay, moving on to 3, we can see that 3 is not in either A, B, or C, so it just would go somewhere on the outside of all of the circles, so I would put a 3 out here. Moving on to number 4, we can see that 4 is just in set A, the number 5 is just in set B. The number 6 is just in set C. 7 is just in set A, so I would just draw a comma in between. 8 is also just in set A. 9, we can see that it's in both A and B, so I would have a 9 here. 10 is just in A. 11 is in both B and C, but not A. 12, we can see 12 does not show up anywhere, so I would put it on the outside. I can also see that 13 is on the outside. And then I would go through 14, so 14 is just in C. And then 15 is just in B. Okay, so this is what it would look like to list out all of the elements. After you're done listing out all the elements of the set, what we're going to do next is we're going to find the cardinality of each of those locations. So the cardinality, remember, is just the number in that particular region. So if I look at just in A but not B or C, I can see that there's one, two, three, four values that fall there. So there's four that fall in this region. I have one that are in both A and B, but not C. I have one that falls in all three of them. I have two that are only in B. I have two that are in both B and C, but not A. I have two that are just in set C, and I don't have any that are in just A and C. And then we have three on the outside. So a check that you can do to make sure that everything works is you can add them all up. So in A, I have one, or I have four, five, six, and we can see right here that we had six in A. Okay. For B, we again have a total of six, so this should in circle B should add up to B six. So I have two, four, five, and six. So we can see that we also have six in circle B. In circle C, we have two, four, five, and we can see that we do have five here. So this is just a check to make sure that we have all of our values represented somewhere in those circles. And then if I add up all of the numbers, I have four, five, seven, nine, 10, 12, and plus three more gives me 15. We can see that there are 15 numbers in our universal set. So we know that all of our numbers are represented in this Venn diagram. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.